Now we are going to learn about matrix in C++. Matrix is just an extended version of C++ array. So far, whatever you have learned with an array, it is one dimensional. But matrix means it is a two dimensional array. Now, just for your information, in C++, you can have any dimension for an array. It can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 4, like that. Although we are not going to the higher dimensional array, but I believe the knowledge of this matrix or 2D array can help you understanding all this concept. So, let us talk about matrix. So, what is the meaning of a two-dimensional array? A two-dimensional array basically means nothing other than a table format, just what you can see in this left-hand side of this slide. So, a table, each, in each element of a table can be accessed using the row index and the column index, like this. So, if you want to, so row is incremented in this direction from 0, 1, 2, like this, whereas column is incremented in this direction, like 0, 1, 2, 3, something like this. Now, if you want to access one element in this two dimensional array, what you need to do is you have to use two different index that is row index and column index so how does it look like so for a normal array let's say if you want to use the beginning element the starting element of the array that is the element at index 0 in a one dimensional array what did you do you have done something like array zero for a one dimensional array now whenever it comes to matrix or two dimensional array you have to do something like this matrix and if you want to access the beginning element you have to use two index the first one is the row index and the second one is the column index so you have to access it using two different index so the first one is the row index which is zero here and the second one is column index which is again zero here so that is how you can access the elements at matrix array means there are only one index matrix means there are two index just like this so now let us see this simple c plus plus example over here in the right hand side of this slide so here what I have done is I have uh, defined a matrix of five rows and four columns. So what I have done, just int matrix rows and columns, just like in array there are once uh, one number over here because array is one dimensional, but since there are two dimensional, so you have to specify both number of rows and number of columns. Here, in our case, it is 5 and 4. Now, what you have to do is, in order to initialize a matrix, you just think of initializing multiple arrays. So, one array, let's say, so let me just explain it in this way. So, let us consider only the first row of the matrix which is 5 9 22 and 6 in here if i want to put it inside an array so what i need to do 
let's say this is going to be int array so there are one two three four four elements and inside this opening and closing curly braces i have to write 5 9 22 and 6 like this now since matrix is a collection of rows something like this there are multiple rows you have to use every time first you have to initialize each of these rows separately the first row the zero row zero row one then row two like this and then again inside an outer opening and closing curly brace you have to enclose all these rows so that's how you have to declare matrix first you declare each of these row just like a normal array and then enclose it in an outer opening and closing curly brace and that is it that's what matrix is and now whenever you want to access a matrix just use both the index like row index followed by column index so here matrix 0 0 equals 5 this is the same value as in here and matrix 2 3 that is 2 and column 3 so this element is 769 in here you can also change the elements uh, just like the way you have done in case of array but uh, the only difference is you have to use these two indices that's it the, and if you want to print the matrix also just uh, this is also another extension of the array printing an array so in case of an array you have used only one loop but in case of matrix as you can see in here this is one loop one outer loop that will increment with the rows and then there is a second inner loop which will increment with the counts so this is the major concept of the matrix it is nothing but a two dimensional array all the operations and everything are similar as an array the only thing is you have to use two different indices for all the purposes so uh, let us see a small demo of matrix and i hope that will clarify the concept even better